Miss James, may pressure ba ngayon sa pagbalik mo sa showbiz after yung pahinga mo? Alam mo, wala, wala ako na-feel na pressure because, you know, I'm... Ang pagbalik showbiz mo, hindi naman talaga ako talagang nawala eh. Kasi every year bumabalik ako, pero pili-pili talaga yung mga projects. Pero ngayon, syempre, uh, there's no pressure to be a talent. There's more pressure to produce projects that I really believe in. Na feeling ko kakaiba na kailangan na talagang maramdaman ng Pilipinas kasi we're so used to formulaic forms of entertainment. And I want to be able to... Um, to put a different spin, you know, uh, I believe in edut edutainment, you can entertain people but also teach them uh, valuable lessons in life and that's the power of film, mm -hmm. which uh, which is, like I said, na, uh, something that I'm very proud of Showtime, it was fun. Uh, we'll serve. Uh, Enjoy, you know, because uh, it wasn't a serious job. Uh, but ano, makakapilip talaga lahat ng mga nag-perform. It just reinforces na talagang napaka-talented ng Pilipino. Tsaka yung raw talent ha, yung hindi trained, ano lang, praktisado-praktisado. Kaya ano, nakakaingan yung manood ng TV ngayon kasi ang daming talent. Ngayon nga nang ma-work ko sa APS, would you like to work again with D3 yung kadang-tong mo dati? Kayo mga other YouTube head ko din, people. Ano ko kayo yung D3? Oh, naman. Oh, naman. Uh, hindi naman nag- uh, I would love to work with the people that I've worked with in the past. But I don't want to limit myself to work with only people that I've worked with in the past. I've been gone for over a decade at marami na rin artista na hindi ko pa nakakatrabaho. So to limit na sabihin sila na, sila na, sila na lang at silang nakakatrabaho mo, parang I don't want to limit myself to just work with the people I've worked with before. Sino mo yung mga gusto niyo makasama yung sa mga napapanood niya? Ang daming magagaling na artista ngayon na uh, napapanood ko sa TV. Um, marami sila. I don't have anyone in particular, but a lot of the artistas na na matagal na rin na hindi ko nakakatrabaho is like Jericho Rosales. Um, marami, marami sila. I just feel very excited na, you know, I, I'm at a stage in my career where uh, hindi na ako bagets, I'm a young mom, but I'm also very open to more challenging roles. So, uh, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, I'm more mature. Kasi nung bagets ako, bagets lang yung role ko, di ba? So, ngayon na may edad na ako ng konti, and I also have children. I'm excited to play roles that are meteor kasi totoo naman na habang tumatanda ka, mas nagiging full yung life mo, mas marami kang pinaghuhugutan, di ba? Uh, as opposed to pag uh, pagets ka pa, uh, your experience in life isn't as uh, colorful. So I feel that in the 10 years I've been away, miski hindi nyo ako napapanood, uh, I've been in acting class, Continuously, I've honed my craft, and that's the reason why I left naman talaga eh. Kasi gusto ko lang i, uh, bigyan talaga ng importansya yung pag, hindi lang pag-aartista, kundi yung talagang pag-aarte. Kung anong uh, sinasabi ng husband mo, parang balik? Yung support, yung support ng family ko sa'yo. Uh, alam niyo po, yung asawa ko po yung unang nagsabi na, oh ano, graduate ka na, uwi ka na. Pero of course, in English siya. <laughs> But he's like, yeah, go home. Utilize what you've learned. Uh, try to make a difference. Because, syempre, yung, nung umalis ako, marami, marami akong hinanakit dahil, you know, this is the, the world I grew up in. And yet, I've been gone for so many years and I come back to an industry that's still very stagnant, that hasn't evolved a lot. So I just feel like, given the opportunity, and thank you to Viva for giving me the opportunity, I'll be able to to do films that I've watched, that I've learned, that I've studied, but of course to put Filipino values into them. So exciting, I'm, I'm very excited to be back. It wasn't a 
a difficult decision. After I graduated, it was my husband who said, Halika, uwi ka na. Handa ka na. Ako talaga yung, ha? Talaga? Okay. So, first, very supportive ang aking pamilya. Yung hosting po at saka dancing, kasi dun ka mas nakilala before. Uh, kaya po bang, yung dancing particularly, kaya po bang gawin yun? Kaya kung kaya, <laughs> pero yung mga bagets na lang. <laughs> ano, I just feel like, I mean, yes, I love to dance. Uh, I grew up dancing on television. I just feel that I would rather do things that can change, uh, that has social change and social relevance. Ewa ko, siguro I'm also very optimistic because I just graduated. So, maraming laman yung utak ko na, ah, gusto kong gawin ito, gusto ko, ng message na ganito, ayaw kong gumawa lang ng, ng, uh, ng pelikula para lang gumawa ng pelikula, di ba? Gusto ko may message, gusto ko ano, kasi yun na nga, in a population like the Philippines, we have a lot of uneducated people. It's up to us in media to be able to teach them values and to teach them things. And kung panay, ano, uh, entertainment lang, sayang naman yung opportunity. Do you have also plans of teaching or college? Uh, I absolutely have plans of teaching, maybe like hosting seminars, acting workshops. But as of now, I'm still trying to juggle my acting and my production work. So, uh, but it's definitely an avenue I want to pursue, and I also want to pursue my master's soon. Soon. Are we talking about directing, Cuba producing, script writing? I'm definitely a producer. Uh, director, bilip na bilip ako sa mga director na nakakatapos ko ng mga 50 sequences sa isang araw. Parang, uh, Ibang klase may superpowers talaga yung mga director natin dito sa Pilipinas. Sila talaga ang ating true winners <laughs> uh, sa industriya Pilipino dahil natatapos nila yung mga eksena na hindi mo, hindi mo alam ko pa paano mo gagawin pero nag nagagawa, no? So, um, no, definitely not directing although I have directed for school. Uh, I want to produce films. Pang update ang Basco Balita yun. Mm -hmm. Update lang po. Uh, update on the first documentary feature-length film that I've produced. We're editing right now, so we're in post-production. And we're negotiating on what uh, station, international Filipino station, will uh, pick up the rights, the television rights. But it's exciting because I'm negotiating. As a producer, I'm selling creative content as opposed to artista lang ako. At doon talaga ako na excited Doon ako yung, ang galing kasi yung parang may idea ka, tapos nabubuo. As opposed to, darating ka lang sa, sa set, tapos ayun na, aarating ka na, o, tapos na, tapos uwi ka na. Tapos yun na, wala kang say, wala kang vision. Diba? Iba talaga yung nabubuo mo siya mula sa konsepto hanggang sa ikakalabas ng, uh, ng proyekto. Thank you, congratulations, Paul. Thank you. Thank you.